morning kids welcome back to i love learning with miss leah today is tuesday may 19th and today we are going to talk about another sense what body part do you use to smell yep our nose and miss leah is going to read the book smelling smelling the five senses Smelling by Rebecca Rissman. Table of contents. Here we go. Senses. We all have five senses. We use our senses every day. Smelling and seeing our senses. Tasting, touching, and hearing are also senses. How do you smell? You use your nose to smell. Your nose is on your face. You breathe air into your nose through nostrils. Those are little holes underneath in your nose. Your nose smells things in the air. Your nose sends messages to your brain just like we saw in the hearing book. It too also sends messages to your brain. Your body, your brain tells you what you are smelling. What do you smell? You can smell plants. You can smell animals. You can smell food cooking. You can smell flowers. Smell can protect you. You can smell smoke. So that way, if you smell smoke, usually that means fire. So if you smell it, you can protect yourself by getting out the house. You can smell things that are rotten. Unsafe smells. Some smells are bad for you. Smelling some glues can make you sick. Do not smell some paints. Smelling some paints can make you sick. Naming the parts you use to smell. Point to where these labels should go. Do you remember what this was called? Was it nose or nostril? You're right, nose. And this one, the hole, is the nostril. That's the air you breathe in. And whatever you smell sends the message to your brain and lets you know what it is you're smelling. If it's good smell, bad smell, fruity smell, or a pleasant smell. Picture glossary. Brain, part of your body inside your head that helps you think, remember, feel, and move. Nostril, 
one of two holes in your nose where air goes in and out. Sense, something that helps you smell, see, touch, taste, and hear things around you. The end. Smelling. Okay, kids, so after you heard the story, there's a really, really cool, fun activity that I put together that um, you can do. Parents, you will need to help supervise. Okay, here I have on my counter is um, some fragrances. Inside of these tea bags is a cotton ball. And on the cotton ball, parents, I put some kind of fragrance. Um, I'm not going to say what it is because my beautiful son is here and he's going to demonstrate how the game is played. So in each one of these uh, sachet packets, I have a cotton ball. And in the cotton ball is a fragrance that I put on it. And what you can do is um, have your child, parent, blindfold them. Okay, and my handsome son put his blindfold on. And what um, parents you can do, you should know what is inside of the sachet packets. And then you write down, parents, what your child says as, as you pick it up and help them smell it. So here I'm going to pick up number one. I have it, babe. Now you smell it. What does that smell like? Or describe what you smell. Um, kind of like lemon. Okay, he said like lemon. Okay, good. Now he's going to use his sense, his nose, to smell number two. Mm, like an onion smell. Okay. And then parents, you can just write down, you know, what your child said for number one, what they, what your child said for number two. And let's go to number three. And you can have as many smells as you want, parents. Cinnamon. Okay, he said cinnamon. All right. And here we are, the last one, number four. Smell that one. Can you smell it? Smell it again. Uh, I don't really know. Okay. He doesn't know. But once you write down what they said, and then you can blindfold them, unblindfold them, and then tell them what they smell. Okay, kids. So I hope you enjoyed the book that Miss Leah read and the activity that we did. It's a really cool activity. Parents, if you don't have a little sachet bag, you can just use a cotton ball um, or just blindfold your child and then put the scent up to their nose so then they can smell it and let them describe. Use their words, describe what it is that you smell. Or if you already know off the bat what it is, say what it is that you smell. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. You can even go outside. If you have some flowers nearby, smell the different flowers that are outside. So what body part do you use to smell? Yes, our nose. And where is our nose? on our face. So I really hope you enjoyed the book. Tune in tomorrow and Miss Lee is going to read another sense of our five senses. So, so far we did hearing and today we did smelling. I wonder what tomorrow is going to be. See you tomorrow, children. Bye.